In this video, I'm going to show you editing MIDI drums in Reaper. So this is part two of editing MIDI drums in Reaper. Make sure you check out part one before watching this video. But as a quick review, we had a project set up here where we already recorded a drum part and a piano part, both recorded as MIDI. And if we double click the item on the piano track, it opens up to the MIDI editor, which looks like this. And if we look on the left, this is known as the piano roll or the piano roll editing mode which makes sense for piano, as we see the length of our notes along with the notes that are being played on our piano. Let's hear it. Like I said, it makes sense to edit this way for instruments with pitch, like a piano. But for drums, we're probably going to want to view it differently, which is what we set up in the first video. So if we close this and open up the recording on the drum track by double clicking, we can see it looks very different. In that video, we changed the mode to name notes mode over here. So you can see the name of each sample we're triggering in rows. Instead of a piano roll, like on the piano track. We also manually named each note, although some software will put the names in there for us. We also reordered the note rows in the order we prefer to work and hid all the note rows that we're not using. Then we changed the MIDI notes from rectangles to triangles, which doesn't show note length because we don't need that for drums. Although you could also use diamonds if you prefer. Then we also chose to view the note names right on the note, like this. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we could switch from the default, which is best for pianos and other pitched instruments, to what we set up in here for drums, using custom actions and adding them to the toolbar as toolbar buttons right up here. So let's go to the Actions menu, Show Action List, and let's go to the section for the MIDI editor. Then we'll search mode and choose the option right here for drum map, which is basically the named notes, which we see over here. And with it selected, we can go down here to new action and create a new custom action starting with this action right here. So we can run multiple things just by hitting a toolbar button. So we'll start with this and name it drum mode. Then we'll add to this based on our preferences. I like to use the triangles, so I'll add that one next. Show events as triangles. Then next, I like to see the note names. Show note names, drag this over, then color notes by pitch. Right over here, drag it over, and then hide the unused rows. Right here, hide unused and unnamed note rows. Drag it over, and then finally, I want to load the custom note names we created. Again, you can skip this if your software automatically puts in the note names. But for me, I'm going to do it manually. So I'm going to load the note names from here. Put that at the end. Now we can save this as a custom action. Let's create another one to do the opposite that we could use for keyboards, like piano. We'll search in the MIDI editor for mode. And this time we'll choose the mode piano roll. Go to new action, new custom action. We'll name this one keys mode. We'll add to this custom action as well. For this, we'll use rectangles right here. Show events as rectangles. Then show note names, which will toggle as we switch back and forth. Then the velocity, color notes by velocity. Again, this is for our piano. Then we want to show all the note rows right here, drag it over, and then finally, we're going to clear all the note names right here. So again, this custom action is going to do all these things with one toolbar button. We'll save it. Now we can see both custom actions right here. 
the drum mode, and the keys mode. So I'll put these in the MIDI editor toolbar. Let's close it. Let's right click up here, go to customize toolbar, scroll down to the bottom, and we'll add those custom actions. Drum mode and keys mode, select and close, and they show up right here custom drum mode and custom keys mode. And you can put them in either order you prefer. And I'm also going to add a separator right before both of them, just to separate it from the other toolbar buttons. So apply it and close it. And now it shows up over here. So if we put this back to how we saw it before, where we opened it up and it looked like this, with the piano roll on the side, with none of our notes named, the length of them showing up as rectangles and the colors based on velocity. Now, if we want to go back to what we set up before, just hit the button up here for drum mode. And it asks us to load the note name file we saved. Again, you could skip this if you didn't need it. Just double click this one. And it shows up like this with the names on each note over here and over here, with the velocities not showing up with the colors based on the pitch, and it's switching to triangles, and just seeing the notes with names that we performed. And if you want to switch it back at any point, hit keys mode, and it's back to where it was before. So when we record piano or any other keyboard instrument, we can just use keys mode right here. But when recording drums, and we want to edit them, just double click it, Hit the button over here for drum mode. Load the note names if you need them. And it's going to look like this. With our triangles, with a different color for each pitch, ready to edit our drums. So just like that, we could switch from drum mode to keyboard mode, depending on what kind of instrument we record. Making it a lot easier to edit our MIDI drums in our MIDI editor in Reaper. So that's pretty much it. That's editing MIDI drums in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go. Oh!